You have to be willing to give ideas and advice freely because honestly, most people won't do it. And so like most people, you're worried that you're not efficient enough with your time. You're worried about the ROI of helping someone out. You're worried that people are gonna come along and just steal your ideas. And so you're protective. You keep everything focused. You're not willing to give people time freely. You're not willing to give them and be gracious with attention. And you're not even willing to sit down with them and give them ideas knowing that ideas are free. And that's okay. Because one, you're not as efficient as you think. You can certainly spare those moments for others. And two, ultimately you can't calculate ROI on the most important things in business or in life. And so using the feeling of like, oh, I'm, you know, it's too inefficient. Helping this person, I don't know how it's gonna help me in the long run. That type of focus and that type of thinking is not only selfish and self-centered, it's actually really limiting. The very best things that happened to me in my business and in my career was when I was willing to give time and attention freely. When I was willing to be free with my advice and ideas and not clutch them or hold on to them or worry about ownership. The best things that have ever happened to me came full circle from me giving to others sometimes years later. The most important thing that you can do in business and in life is to help others because it not only helps them, yeah, that's great, but it actually serves a deep rooted need that you have to serve others, to work for others, to help others out. So stop focusing on efficiencies, stop focusing on ROI, and don't worry about people stealing your ideas. Everyone has ideas. Guess what? Execution is really, really hard. No one is gonna come along and take your ideas and then execute all of them. So if this is something that you already do, celebrate it. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't worry about your time or commitment or your focus on helping others. You are doing awesome things by helping others and that will come full circle to you. And if this is something you don't do, you need to attack that. This is holding you back. Your lack of giving to others, the fact that you hold on to this, tells me that either you're worried or you're scared that you only have a few ideas, but you'll have tons of them. Or you're worried that your advice isn't worth anything, which it is. You have experiences, you've fallen down, you've gotten back up, you've overcome challenges, and you can save other people years of pain and suffering by simply stepping in and help guide them through the things that you have overcome. So just get started. And thinking big, being bold, and saying yes will help you do this. If you wanna learn how to get better at the things you do to hit those goals, dreams, and milestones that you have, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you there.